Hey, what's going on guys? My name is DJ Madam AD. So recently I've been getting a whole bunch of emails from DJs asking me, can you please make me a drop with the Siri voice? So being the fact that I hate doing drops for other people other than myself, I decided to do a tutorial about how to get Siri to say whatever the hell you want her to say. So stay tuned because this one's going to be a good one. The first thing you got to do is you got to go into preferences on your computer and go to system preferences go to dictionary and speech and by default you're gonna have uh, I believe it's Alex right here it's gonna be an Alex so you're gonna have you're not gonna see the the person that you want to use is Samantha but for uh, you're not gonna have that downloaded so you're gonna have to go to customize and this window will pop up and you're gonna click on Samantha once you click on Samantha you hit OK I already downloaded it and in the and it's gonna uh, a message is going to come up right here that says downloading is going to take about a minute. Once that's done, you're going to go right here and select Samantha. And if you hit play, you're going to hear Samantha speak. Hello, my name is Samantha. I am an American English voice. Okay. Hello, my name is Samantha. Yes, okay, thank you very much. Now, in, on the iPhone, she's called Siri, but the original name is Samantha. So the next thing you need to do to get the, the to get uh, Siri or Samantha to say whatever it is that you want her to say, is you have to go into uh, this program that it comes with every Mac. Now understand this, if you don't have a Macintosh, an Apple, if you're not running on OS X uh, on, on, on a Mac, you can you can do this. You can do this on Windows. Uh, if you have a PC or whatever, you cannot do it on none of that because they don't have that voice. Um, so you need a Mac. That's, that's straight from the door. Um, the next thing, open up text edit. It comes standard with Mac. Once uh, text, if you get this pop up window just to hit done and then you go if nothing pops up just go new and a new window will pop up so now let's say I want uh, Samantha or Siri to say my name is DJ Mad is DJ Mad okay so I just type my name is DJ Mad and go go back over here to system preferences and by default this thing is going to be off so what you have to do is you got to click this feature right here that says speak selected text when the keys press so now current key is option escape so now you know you gotta hold on option and escape so if you go on you go back over here to the text editor where, you, where I just type my name is DJ Mad if I hold down option and escape it's gonna say whatever I wrote so check it out my name is DJ Mad that's that's what you gotta do so let's say I wanna do a drop now understand this uh, you know the way Siri or Samantha talks let's just call it Siri the way Siri uh, works it's a uh, it's very like it's one tone type of type of voice, so you kind of have to manipulate it and and kind of use commas and periods and stuff like that. Like for example, if I say I am doing a video about Siri about Siri, and I don't know what I am going to eat. So let's hear how that sounds. I'm doing a video about Siri and I don't know what I'm going to eat. So now everything is all together. Now if I put a comma between Siri and end, it's going to sound a little different. Uh, example. I'm doing a video about Siri and I don't know what I'm going to eat. So basically, you know, try to play with, uh, with the commas and the periods and the exclamation points and stuff like that and it will give you different results. You can also come over here and you can slow down the speed or make it faster and and that's what it is now now how do we get this audio out of the computer so in this case because I have a full-blown studio over here well I mean I would like to, I like to think so I have just about everything that a, a full-blown studio needs the only difference is that I don't have the room um, in this case I have two computers the one you see in the background and the one that's right here so what I usually do is I, I you know I bought one of these little things that you can put on the output of your Mac and this will go into the other computer that we're looking at right here and that's how I will record my uh, my audio now if you don't have another computer and and you um, and you know you want to do this but you don't have two computers where well, you could go and the easiest thing will be to go to your friend's house and use their computer so you can record the audio going into theirs but if you only want to use yours well there is a turner uh, workaround which is the same cable right here which is the mini jack you could use you could go to the store and buy a mini jack to mini jack 
Okay, so it's basically the same thing. And you can go out of your audio and back into your computer. And um, the next program that you will need to use will be will be um, excuse me will be uh, QuickTime, which I'm using right now to record my screen. But there's a feature right here. If you go under File, it says uh, New Audio Recording. Now this window pops up. And like you can see, my voice is actually being recorded through the microphone, okay? So now, you will have to change this to built-in input line. That's why you need these two things, because it's, you know, it's going to record the system audio, and it's going to bring it back into the recording that you're going to take from, um, from QuickTime. Once you do that, all you got to do is press record, and it's going to record whatever it is that you record. Now, in this case, I'm not doing that because I'm actually doing a video through the camera and I'm also recording the screen and I you know if I change everything it's gonna be uh, you know a mess so basically that's how you get Siri to talk and say whatever it is that you want to do hopefully this video will, will help you out and um, it will answer all your questions if you have any other question please feel free to write everything in the comments below please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one DJ Mass signing off